Hey guys, it's Nick from this here. I thought a fun video to make would be discussing certain licensed chapters that I don't think would work for Dead by Daylight, and that I doubt we'll ever see. Some of these are just things I've seen suggested over the years, and a few of them are even directly from Behavior Interactive's player survey, where they listed a bunch of licenses we could vote for. Of course, this is just my take on things, I'm not trying to bash on anybody who hopes to see these chapters in the game. Starting off my list is the horror movie parody franchise, Scary Movie. We did get the iconic, what's up, mask for Ghostface, which was really surprising and pretty hilarious, but I have a feeling that's probably all we'll get. Mostly because they're comedy movies making fun of horror movies. Most of the characters from the franchise are just knockoffs of actual horror movies, some of which DBD actually has. Maybe some of the main characters could be survivors, but I feel like that would have been added alongside the ghost face mask if they really wanted to make it happen. Donnie Darko is a trippy and amazing movie. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. Admittedly, I haven't seen a lot of fan demand for Donnie Darko in Dead by Daylight, mostly because it doesn't make any sense, but I definitely have seen it come up before. Frank the Rabbit may look menacing and like a badass killer, but he's more of an ominous, paranormal character than an actual killer. Frank only kills one person in the movie, and it's by accident, running them over with his car. He doesn't really fit this type of game, but he for sure would be a cool costume for an existing killer. Slender Man is a weird case, and I've even talked about him before in my Dead by Daylight video game characters video. Sure, it's an early iconic horror game, and in that sense, he deserves a spot in Dead by Daylight, but at the same time, what would they do for him? He would obviously have to be a paragraph, as there isn't really any survivors they could use for him that I know about. They could definitely do a cool Slender map, which might almost be better than an actual Slender Man killer. Slender Man doesn't really do anything on screen, the screen just goes static when he kills his victims. He does have his giant tentacles, and seems to be like an omnipresent character, so I'm sure if Behavior put their mind to it, they absolutely could make it work, but it seems like a lot of work for a character who hasn't been relevant in over a decade and doesn't do much. The next chapter ideas I'm going to mention are licenses that appeared on the official Dead by Daylight player survey. There's an entire list of anime to vote for, and I'm just going to go ahead and say all anime. It's out of place in Dead by Daylight, and I don't ever see an anime getting their own chapter. What are we going to get, a Majin Buu killer? I mean, we already have Dragon Ball the Breakers, we don't, we don't need that. At most, I can see them doing what they did for Attack on Titan, and adding costumes for characters in-game. And even those were goofy, overpriced, and have already been removed from the store because anime licensing is a nightmare. Portal is on the list, and is by far the video game that stood out most to me. Portal and Dead by Daylight? Huh? Left 4 Dead was the perfect Valve game to add to DBD, but what about jumping around in portals, moving blocks, and solving puzzles exactly screams horror survival? GLaDOS is a very fun villain, and it would be hilarious to see her as a killer in DBD, but it's just totally unrealistic. At most, I can see them giving us some skins based off the game, or a charm, or something like that. John Wick would kind of be cursed in Dead by Daylight. My man wouldn't be running loops, he'd be beating the killers to death with the flashlights, toolboxes, and whatever else he could get his hands on. The John Wick movies are badass, but I really don't think Dead by Daylight is the right game for the Baba Yaga. Wouldn't do his character justice having him run around unarmed and not able to fight back. Megan spelt with the three, no. <laughs> I refuse to watch this movie because it looks so corny, and I really don't want this anywhere near the game. Luckily, I don't see a whole lot of requests for her, so I'm doubting it'll happen, hoping it won't happen. I'm assuming Wednesday was only added to the survey due to the overwhelming popularity of her most recent show, but it's such a silly idea. The Adams Family are also an option, but I don't see any of them fitting in the game. I really can't imagine Cousin It out there dropping pallets on killers. Adam's Family is usually more of a light-hearted horror series, and I don't think Wednesday deserves a spot just because she's popular. Jurassic Park is just a dumb choice to even mention. 
What, are we going to get a T-Rex killer chasing us around the map? The dinosaurs are easily the first thing that comes to mind when you think Jurassic Park, so what would be the point of just adding survivors from it? Why don't they add Jaws to the list, you know, have a big shark chasing you around the map? Come on. Horror is a huge genre, and there's just as many things that work perfectly for Dead by Daylight as there is things that don't. These are just a few chapters I personally don't think fit in the game, and I don't expect to see any of them. What do you think about my list? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, this has been Nick Famous. See you later.